there is a magnified energy that is then placed into this moment where you are each able to feel the healing nature that is then shifted in vibrancy in which you are able to notice the calmness that resides inside of you. This is through a divine unfolding of sacredness that is then transferred into your being, in then continuing to open up more of your pathways into more harmony. It is important to continue to vibrate more of your awareness on this dimension, in which you are not succumbing to the lower dimensions of fear, of judgment, of doubt in your life. With this pathway open up more than you have who I am as your commander Ashtar, of who we are of the angelic realms, of the galactic council, of the galactic federation of light. This wingspan is then existing in the natural state of abundance in which you are able to notice the awakened presence that exists now in this opening in which you are able to see more unification. All it takes to increase more of this unity inside of you is to then detach from the feelings of sadness, of anger, to then release these lower density realities for higher density realities. As you notice a lot of humans are addicted to anger, are addicted to sadness, are addicted to violence, are addicted to fear, are addicted to disharmony. To end the addictions in your life that are causing your own body harm is to then ascend into a natural state of unification, of purity in your existence, in which this divine wisdom is then allowed to assist you. Without your efforts to continue to rise interdimensionally, then there is no ascension for you in this lifetime, as in order to ascend, You each need to take this process more seriously. As you recognize there are still massive amounts of humans being killed daily, dying daily, from children, women, and men, as this is a reality of duality, where many world leaders are carrying out disturbing actions. These same world leaders go in front of media events, take pictures with smiles on their faces and then go and order humans to be killed, and drop bombs on foreign countries. You see the sickness of those who are controlled by the lower ego self, in which those under this spell are going to continue to carry out their ruthless actions, until the end of their short lives in duality. Anything less than 100 earth years for a human life is extremely short, and the true reality of not dying exists solely in ascension, in which the experience of not being among a lot of sickness is a path in conscious awakening. Through your own awareness to see the importance of being able to continue to take ascension more seriously, then you are aware of where you are, as in duality, you came to hell, so it is important to carry out your missions into completion. This is only going to connect with those of you as the 144,000 light beings here to help the human race, along with those that are risen in their vibrations high enough to connect with a synchronized state of being. To see that you have a rare opportunity to exist beyond death in this lifetime, then you are noticing how many humans are not going to have that same reality. As you see that this is about will, strength, courage, determination, and the divine assistance that who we are of the Galactic Federation of Light, of your angelic guardians remain in service. This is about seeing the end of murders of so many children, men, and women daily. This is about your own light work that is allowing that all to happen with the rising in vibrations. Through your own healing work, then you are bridging pathways into which you are vibrating with a pure intention to continue to flow into a natural harmonization in your existence. It is now where you are then existing to then live in more service for our galactic fleet, to then make sure that you are not falling into the trap of the lower ego self, to reincarnate again. By your intention to rise out of that state, then you are seeing the importance of more of your missions to then continue to provide more guidance and assistance in the dawning of awakening of light. As a beacon of light, as a beam of light, As you are shining with your light efforts, then all of this information that you are sharing, all of the creative actions you are bringing is then helping to heal in massive amounts. 
through your will to then see no stops and your inner ability to continue to rise in a conscious existence in more peacefulness, then you are allowing yourself to see the risen frequencies inside of you. It is then not about how much material gain you are only focusing on, no, but about how much service you are willing to provide daily on this planet, in how much healing work you are willing to place forth. The less light work you produce, the less you are awakened in your light missions, as you notice those not producing any light work are not awakened at all. In the inner consistency of your paths into more greatness, then you are able to feel the resonance that remains in this now moment with your expansive self into more vibrancy. It is all about how much consistency you are able to place forth, It is not about trying to use the lower ego self to convince any humans refusing to stop being violent, unkilling to stop. No, this is about allowing those who choose to be crazy to be crazy, and to then gather more karma as a result, as that is the path chosen for such individuals that are choosing duality still. To end the state of duality in your life, then you are opening up more of an awakened nature, in which you are seeing that you came to this world to make sure that heaven is brought here. It is not about trying to wait to see how long it is going to take for heaven to be here, no, but about creating it yourself from your own inner awakened nature, from your own presence, inside. Through this path, then you are each maintaining the oath to who we are of the angelic realms of the Galactic Federation of Light to bring in more of an awakened presence of Source. As in being Source, then you are stepping deeper inside of this awakening, in which you notice years before, this awakened state was not there, but has been allowed to increase more in your daily life. It is certainly not easy to awaken to peacefulness, to ascension paths, when you have been living in a life of suffering for many years, as you notice most humans are still in a lot of suffering. To allow yourself to evolve further, then you are able to notice that this takes a deep responsibility to then exist to expand into a vibration that is more in resonance with calmness. This calm nature is about noticing that as you are of more service for ascension, you are noticing more of how the lower ego self works, and seeing it a lot more in this world. We stand in an awakened presence, we are the angelic realms, we are the galactic federation of light.